singing a song as we go along, walking in the window in the land. Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Trading Places. Trading Places stars Dan Aykroyd, Eddie Murphy, and Jamie Lee Curtis. The film is directed by John Landis, who has directed films such as The Blues Brothers, Animal House, Coming to America, which also starred Eddie Murphy. And the film is about this investor played by Dan Aykroyd and this homeless con artist played by Eddie Murphy. Life is just going pretty ordinary for these two. They're doing their own thing until a couple of these millionaires decide to make a bet and so this bet actually has Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy. Well, as you can figure out, trading places. So now Eddie Murphy basically has Dan Aykroyd's life and Dan Aykroyd basically has Eddie Murphy's life where he has no home or anything like that. Before I review trading places I'm gonna give the spotlight to my guest star Brian Mendoza. So Brian take it away. Hey guys what's up it's Brian Mendoza here on Twitch's YouTube channel. And I'd like to say happy holidays to you guys. Today I'm gonna be talking about a film from 1983 and this film is called Trading Places, starring Dan Aykroyd, Eddie Murphy, Jamie Lee Curtis. This is my first time viewing this film because I've never seen this film. I've heard about this film for a couple of years, surprisingly, but I honestly never saw a trailer. I didn't know what it was about, even though the title hinted something. My thoughts on this film, I love it. This is a film that was released in the summer. June 8th, 1983, I'm thinking, like, why in the summer? Why not release it, like, in November or December? I think December would have honestly been perfect that year. The acting in this film is excellent. Everyone does a great job. The writing is fantastic. It is honestly some of the best I've heard in a comedy. The cinematography is beautiful. It is well shot. Um, all the sets look awesome. And... Like, almost everything in this film looks fancy, and some parts don't look fancy. If you guys have seen the film, you know what I'm talking about. Dan Aykroyd, Eddie Murphy, they're awesome in this movie. My favorite character in this film is Eddie Murphy. He is the best part of the film. I think he steals the whole movie for me. And the supporting cast is great. And the soundtrack of this film, it sounds classical. That's what I like about it. And it, I, I just love the soundtrack. It is honestly some of the best I've heard of comedy. I like the story a lot. As the movie goes on, you'll see some stuff that happens between the two and their revolt, revolt, blah, their roles get reversed. Trading places. Yeah. Um, there's hard, it's hard for me to pick one scene in this film that I enjoyed a lot, but to tell you the truth, I think I'm gonna go with the scene where, um, Dan Aykroyd is in the status suit. That's all I'm gonna say, cause <laughs> he just does some crazy stuff in that in the status suit. Overall, this is a film. To tell you the truth, I don't have any problems with this film. I yeah, there's no problems. It's pretty rare that I enjoy a movie and I don't have any problems at all. So overall, I'm gonna give a Trading Places four out of five stars, an A minus really enjoyed this movie. Um, this is a film that I say go buy the Blu-ray. Great movie. Definitely recommend it for the holidays. If you've never seen it, go check it out. So, thank you so much for watching my review. Please subscribe to my channel. Link in the description down below. And I'll see you guys next time on his channel. Whenever I come back for a flat review. Thank you. Happy holidays. May the force be with you all. Take care. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much, Brian Mendoza, for reviewing Trading Places. I think Trading Places is actually a very great comedy. I enjoyed the heck out of this movie. This movie is very funny. It's very well written. And it's not just the writing that was strong with Trading Places. It's not just the direction by John Landis, who did such a great job directing this film. There was a lot of beautiful shots. And the editing of the film is really great, too. But it's really thanks to the comedic timing of Eddie Murphy and Dan Aykroyd that this is actually a very entertaining, very great, and very memorable film. Especially with Eddie Murphy out of the two of them. He is hands down the show stealer. Eddie Murphy 
is the one that has the most laughs when it comes to trading places, which is no surprise. I've always thought Eddie Murphy was a funny guy, and in trading places, he definitely shows his comedic talent. And Dan Aykroyd acted very well here, and even, yes, Jamie Lee Curtis. She's in this film, too, and I thought she was very good as a character I want to reveal too much about, but let's just say that she actually was a very interesting character, and she does serve for the story. When I first saw her, you know, her character I wasn't sure how to really feel but then I learned to actually appreciate and respect her character more and her character actually did serve for the story because I thought she was gonna be pointless at first but she actually served for the story as the movie goes along the other actors to be honest actually did a very good job of acting and trading places everyone I thought just did a really great job and as I said it's just very well written there's a lot of very funny moments in this film a plenty of moments that just had me absolutely laughing especially when you get to like the last 40 minutes of the film my goodness some of the funniest stuff i've seen ever i could not control myself honestly and i will say how they actually handled the climax of course without spoiling anything how the film gets to its climax i actually thought it was very clever it's set up for i guess you could say a very funny payoff so i thought that was actually very well handled too it's funny to see dan Aykroyd go from this investor to just being homeless and then just seeing how eddie murphy goes from this homeless guy that would con people to having Dan Aykroyd's life as being this investor that was really great to me as well so it was just very well handled on where the story structure was going to me for the most part i thought the pacing was definitely very well done the comedic timing for the most part i thought was definitely on point and just made for a very entertaining and very sharp comedy film. Now, yes, as far as problems do go with Trading Places, not every humor hits. It's not like it's bad whenever the humor hits, just that every single humor didn't really make me laugh. I also will say in the second act, the second act's pacing does kind of drag a little bit because it's not as consistent with the comedy as, say, the first act and definitely the third act. The third act is definitely where it's the most consistent with laughs. There's definitely some laughs in the second act so don't get me wrong I wasn't like bored watching the second act but I definitely did feel like there could have been just a little bit more humor when it comes to the second act but overall you guys I actually thought Trading Places was a very outstanding comedy with great comedic timing great writing great direction great editing beautiful cinematography great execution just a lot of things about Trading Places is so great and it just has me absolutely laughing. I loved where the storyline was going, I loved how it was written, I loved the comedic timing and I'm gonna go very high with this movie. I'm gonna give Trading Places three and a half out of four stars. Yes, I think it's that good of a comedy. It's very, very funny. Just some of the stuff that happens in this film, you definitely have to see it to believe it because especially in the third act, Oh man, that was truly something. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Trading Places. And I would also love to thank Brian Mendoza for coming here to review Trading Places. He's a very cool guy, you guys. He has a great channel. So if you guys want to check out Brian Mendoza's channel, I will leave a link in the description down below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.